all 600. You are watching a video from Psycho Cruises All in One Sport Bike Channel. Subscribe today. Look at that. It's cold out here, man. <laughs> why am I riding today? Because I love to ride. That's why. So let me warm up my hands here before we get started with this moto vlog. Tell you, this is an excellent way to warm your fingers up, get them nice and toasty for riding. Let's get out of here. Do a little moto vlog here, baby. <laughs> Alright guys, how to moto vlog, that's going to be today's topic, that's the topic of the day, I don't think I've, out of all of my 330 videos, I don't think I've ever done a how to moto vlog video, so we'll do one today. Okay, first off, the very first step on how to motor vlog. Learn how to ride on a motorcycle. So take the MSF class, get your endorsement, get a motorcycle, ride out here on the streets. Don't start motor vlogging as soon as you first start riding out here on the streets, okay? That's not wise. <laughs> you know? Gain some confidence, gain some skills, and when you feel comfortable riding and you feel like you want to put a camera on your helmet and start running your mouth and start a YouTube channel, then then do it when you start when you feel confident and you're ready to, to move to the next step. Okay, the next step, okay, once you, you feel confident riding out here on the streets, okay, the next step is to choose the right camera. To put on your helmet. Okay, what this guy doing here, man? Shit. All right. I've had several cameras. I've had the Drift Ghost, the GoPro Hero 2, the Contour, and the Sony action camera. I've had four different action cameras. I actually had a fifth one, a Panasonic FZ35 point and shoot camera. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually mounted a point-and-shoot camera on the bottom of my helmet for my very first motor vlog. I know, that shit was... I was being cheap as fuck, man, because I didn't want to buy an action camera, but thank God I did. <laughs> but don't try that at home, guys. Don't, don't attach a point-and-shoot camera on your helmet. Not only will you look like a doofus, but those cameras are not built for it to be, you know, take a lot of wind and be, and of course you don't want to mess the lens up on your camera too, you know, a pebble hit it and crack your, your lens, so just don't use a point shoot camera on your helmet. Now out of the four cameras that I've used, like I said, the Drift Ghost, the GoPro Hero 2, the Contour, and the Sony Action Camera, in my opinion, the GoPro Hero 2 is the best camera for moto vlogging, at least for me. And my viewers seem to appreciate, they like the front view that you get here with this camera mounted on the chin bar of my helmet. You can't do that with the other cameras. Yeah, the uh, other cameras, you have to mount on the side of your helmet. Which is not that bad, but you won't get the full frontal view, the full beauty on both left and right side. When it's mounted on the side of the helmet, you get part of the helmet, it obstructs some of the view on the other side, and then you just have a view of the other side of the road and the front of the road, but like I said, it takes out part of the other side. So I like the full front of view, and you guys seem to appreciate it. Uh, so, like I said, GoPro Hero 2, I haven't had any problems with this. I bought a few of them, and I, I was going to upgrade to the GoPro Hero 3, but I heard people had so many problems with them, man. You know, the battery life sucked on it, or it didn't focus right, or a lot of problems, it seems like. You know, with the GoPro Hero 2, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I can't complain about it at all. So, you know, why get something, when I, why get something else when I have an awesome camera right here? 
Uh, but it's up to you. So choose a camera that you want. Then the next step is you're going to have to figure out, like I said, where you want to mount it. You want to mount, like I said, with this, the GoPro Hero 2. You, you can actually mount the GoPro Hero 2 on the side of your helmet too if you want to. But it's just going to stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, or you can put it on the top of your helmet, which you look like a dork. But, you know, like I said, who gives a shit how you look? Just choose the correct the uh, correct mounting position that you want for you that's good for you and your audience and the next step is you want to find a mic I have it set well, one thing that's really awesome about the GoPro Hero 2 is that you can connect a flexible mic like a 6 inch flexible mic that will plug directly into the camera and you can point it up put it up underneath the chin of your helmet and go almost perfectly to your mouth that's what that's my setup I already did a video on my setup so I'll just direct you to that video if you want to see, see the details of how I have my camera and mic set up on my helmet but that works out perfect for me you can also get one of those mics the lapel type of mic where you plug in and then you can position it somewhere inside of your helmet the only thing the problem I have with that is it kind of sounds a little bit hollow sometimes but if you play around with it, it sounds pretty good, at least from what I hear, you know, from some of the other motor vloggers out there that have it set up that way. Okay, once you have your camera mounted on your helmet, okay, you have your mic set up, and now you want to figure out what to talk about. So just think of any topics that come to your mind. I just come up with all kinds of shit, as you guys know. Um... And just be yourself. You know, people appreciate you just being yourself. When I first started my YouTube channel, uh, you, I have a few other YouTube channels, a couple other YouTube channels. And when I first started, I was very, like, robotic in what I said. I spoke properly. You know, I made sure and I spoke in a monotone voice. And people don't want to hear that shit. Man, you're not going to get any views that way, man. And don't talk about stupid shit, man. Don't get out here and fucking talk about you're going to get a bagel and coffee or, or tell us about the fucking pizza you had last night. Nobody wants to hear that bullshit, man. That's why I don't listen to a lot of some of the motor vloggers out there. They just talk about some boring ass stupid shit, man. So talk about something relevant to motorcycling or talk about something, a cool story or something. Add some humor to it. Be yourself. You know, don't just uh, let your hair down and, and, and be humorous and just, you know, don't, uh, and, you know, that's one reason why I, I actually had a couple of sponsors that, that wanted to, uh, wanted me to sign up with them, but I don't like restrictions, you know, if I want to cuss, I, I want to fucking cuss, you know, I don't want to have to, uh, be, follow somebody else's guidelines and I just want to be myself you know fuck restrictions so just be yourself talk about some shit that, that people want to hear that maybe I'll make, some, make somebody laugh I gotta be careful man there's some ice patches around here be careful on these turns and also you know when you get out here and you find a road that you want to do your motor vlog on just it's best really to pick a long straight beautiful scenic road you know instead of picking one that has a lot of twisties and shit because you want to concentrate on what you're saying and you know obviously you're, you want to concentrate on riding but when you have twisties you you have to concentrate more on riding you don't want to be talking trying to concentrate on talking and, and hitting the twisties at the same time it could set you up for a real fucked up day But if you you want to do that, it's you know more power to you. We, you know we don't have many twisties out here, <laughs> as you guys know. So so we can't. Uh, so it's not a problem for me. We got these long straight country roads out here, but I love them. Like I said, I love just cruising on these long straight country roads. But yeah, guys, just talk about some fun stuff, man. Mix it up. And, uh, 
That's all this to it, man. Ain't nothing to it. Just ed if, as far as editing programs, uh, software for your computer. And my, I use iMovie. All of my movies are edited with iMovie. I actually, I bought a three thousand dollar brand new high powered iMac for Final Cut Pro X, and I still haven't used that bitch. <laughs> I've had it for like several months, man, and I have not even. I've had it for like almost a year, I think. Shit. And I've only used Final Cut Pro X like twice. There's just so much to learn with that program. I'm like, man, I don't all I you know, I don't need to add all these special effects and all this other bullshit to the videos. I mean, we've all seen all the special effects. It gets lame after a while, man. And you want to try to keep your videos like less than 10 minutes although it's hard for me sometimes because I sometimes I get on here and run my mouth and it's hard for me to stop but generally people like short videos they don't want a long ass fucking video so try to keep it short and you know with iMovie really that's all you need is iMovie man you don't really you don't need Final Cut Pro X unless you want to do a squid video where you want to do like creative shots and do fucking when you're doing wheelies and you're doing your street Rossi moves out here on the street and you want to fade it in, fade you could do actually do all that shit on iMovie, really. Like I said, you don't even really need Final Cut Pro X, so don't don't go blow a whole bunch of money on editing software and a high power computer and all that bullshit, man. Just get you a you can just get you a basic iMac. You know you don't have to have the most expensive one. You can get the basic model and just get a regular iMovie on that bitch and you'll be fine as you guys see my videos man you know so but it's up to you if you want to dump a lot of money into it you know that's your prerogative man I'm gonna I think I'm gonna sell my my uh, high power three thousand dollar iMac to be honest with you I because like I said I don't I don't use it you know, I don't have time to get on here and do all these fucking special effects. And, uh, that's just, I don't have the time for it, man. So, well, like I said, it's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. So, I hope that helps you out, gives you an idea on how to start motor vlogging, you know. And, uh, if you have any questions, man, feel free to hit me up. You know, it's best to post your questions on my forum, on my website over at CycleCruiser.com. That's the best way to get in touch with me. And uh, Or if you're on my Facebook, you know, try to drop me a message. But I have so many messages that come in, I can't keep up with answering all the questions on there, man. So it's really cool if you leave the, the your question on my forum. And that way, if I can't get to it, maybe somebody else on the forum can answer it for you. That's why I like to tell you guys to, the, to go to the forum. But guys, that's all I have for you. So if you want to start this motor vlogging shit and run your mouth like I'm doing, get out here and, and see if you can gain an audience. Then uh, best of luck to you, and I wish you the best. So until next time. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. And it's time for... Psycho Cruiser's recommended videos. Links are in the info section of this video. So you want to be a moto vlogger. You better check out my video on how to set up your GoPro Hero and microphone on your helmet. What did you say? What did you say? I can't hear you. You keep riding with no earplugs, you'll be talking like that too. Check out this moto vlog. Hi Viz is the way to go baby. So check out my Scorpion EXO 500 Neon Oil Helmet Review. For those of you looking for approval to get a motorcycle, don't. Check out my motor vlog, don't ask, just get a motorcycle. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs. Check out my new 2014 t-shirt and hoodie designs. One says, wear gear, don't have a fucked up day. And the other design says, riding strong for you street soldiers out there. These designs come in all different colors and it comes in women and men's sizes. Go check it out at PsychoCruiser.com PsychoCruiser.com Hey, join in on the discussion over at my forum at PsychoCruiser.com 
And also hit like on my Facebook page for new updates. And that's facebook.com forward slash psychocruiser1.